that's right. Thank you, Laskin Corla. Laskin Corla, did the Taoiseach put pressure on the Garda Commissioner to resign? He claims he didn't and claims the Fenley report vindicates him. It does nothing of the sort. The Fenley report states that the Taoiseach has assured the Commission in evidence that he had no intention of putting any kind of pressure, direct or indirect, on the Commissioner and that he was genuinely very surprised when he learned that the Commissioner decided to retire. The Fenley report goes on to list the evidence that makes these claims impossible to accept. It states that Mr Purcell was instructed to tell the Commissioner that the Taoiseach would be proposing the appointment of a Commission of Investigation and that there was a possibility that he would not be in a position where he might be able to express continued confidence in the Commissioner, but no pressure. It states that Deputy Shatter, in his written statement to the Commission, said that the Taoiseach was clearly of the view that the Garda Commissioner should resign or retire, but no pressure. Deputy Shatter is quoted as, as viewing the nocturnal visit as having, quote, the intent of a message going to the Commissioner that indicated very clearly to him that his position was in great difficulty or that he should consider his position, but no pressure. The report states that the Taoiseach and the AG gave evidence on the issue of no confidence, that it was not one of the concerns to be conveyed to Mr Purcell. But Mr Purcell, Mr Fraser and Deputy Shatter, on the other hand, quote, were in no doubt that it was part of the message to be conveyed to the Garda Commissioner, with no pressure. The report states, and I quote, it was decided at the meeting that for reasons that are not clear to the Commission, simply telephoning the Garda Commissioner was not sufficient, but that the message should be conveyed to Mr Purcell in person, but no pressure. The report states, quote, Mr Purcell was thus instructed by the Taoiseach to visit the Garda Commissioner. He was to visit his home, something which neither he nor, as far as he was aware, any of his predecessors had ever done. Thank you, Deputy. But no pressure. Based on this evidence, Laskian Corla, clearly the Fenley report shows evidence that it is impossible to conclude that the Taoiseach had no intention of putting any pressure on the Garda Commissioner and 88% of the Irish people don't believe that to be the case. And for this reason, Laskian Corla, the motion of confidence should be voted against. Thank Marvin. you.